sequential changes in land use and land cover have brought global and regional ecological changes and imbalances. You could say these are the ecological changes, these are the ecological imbalances. They are because of these land use changes, because of land cover changes. Or you can do these are a list of land use changes and land cover changes, and they have resulted in these type of ecological imbalances. Aap kya follow karna chahenge? Pahle wo decide kar lo. Yeah, I said both of them are right, by the way. You can follow both. Okay. But if I was writing, I knew I had a problem in thinking about the concept of land use changes, the concept of change in land cover. But mujhe ecological imbalances yaad tha. So I say kaam karta hon. I'll start with this one. Or likhte likhte to yaad ahi jayega kuch na kuch. This is my strategy. So in this question, I'm starting off. I want to start from here. The following are the ecological imbalances, ecological issues, give data, examples, and then move on towards that. By the time I've written a one page, wo yaad aa jayega mujhe. I'll come back and explain. So that's your choice. Both are right. The second problem in this question will be, for me, it was maybe easy. Do you differentiate ecological imbalance as a concept and a term is not same as environmental degradation? Okay, give me a list of environmental degradation, deforestation, soil erosion, water pollution, air pollution. We have landslides. Okay, we have desertification. You have got loss of biodiversity. Yes, plastic pollution. Examples of degradation here. If I write about ecological imbalances, what do I write here so that the ecological imbalances they look qualitatively different from the environmental degradation, rainfall difference, loss of gene pool, coral bleaching. So loss of biodiversity is destruction of ecological niche. Deforestation is loss of natural habitats. Okay. Soil erosion will be disruptions in trophic structures. Water problem will be uh, disruptions in a hydrological cycle. Problems of ecological imbalance will be disruptions of the gaseous cycles, nitrogen cycles, carbon cycles. Ecological imbalance will be destruction of natural carbon sinks yeah aapka difference hai. okay psychological so imbalance as a concept okay means this but the vocabulary will be different the vocabulary will come from ecosystems concept the vocabulary will come the ecological imbalances seen in the disruptions of the natural food webs examples examples of ecological imbalance Examples of ecological imbalance. Okay, eutrophication. Eutrophication. Example will be biomagnification. Examples. Okay. So they go. Both the sites will have commonalities and overlaps. Okay. Examples will be macroalgal blooms. Puchava question be a macroalgal blooms. Expansion of ecotones. The transition zones are expanding. Expansion of ecotones. Okay. Dead zones. Increase in biological dead zones. Okay. Example will be a simplification of natural biomes. We will have inferior climax communities inferior climax communities 
that is how we differentiate okay do you understand okay what i mean by environmental degradation and ecological imbalance some more examples some more examples of disruptions some more examples of ab isme ek regional wala bhi dimension hai it says a uh, uh, regional imbalances so this you can discuss in terms of specific areas jaise ki desertification in dry regions habitat fragmentations of dense forests man animal conflicts in savanna regions retreat of ice shelves and shrinking reserves of polar bears almost all agricultural ecosystems almost all agri cultural ecosystems particularly those supported by high subsidies almost all agri cultural ecosystems in particular those supported by high subsidies high input management based agriculture the examples of ecosystem imbalances aapka regional bhi bata diya aapko maine now the question says that all of this is because of change in land uses all because of change in land cover okay change in land use ka some of you could identify it we had forests forests converted into agricultural lands converted into urban settlements converted into industrial complexes an example of change in the land use patterns okay forests into agriculture this was simplification of ecosystems forest into agriculture this was fragmentation loss of biodiversity loss of habitats okay agriculture to urban systems agriculture to urban systems okay yahan par ecological imbalances will be in terms of a uh, changing natural cycles which includes hydrological cycle pe changes hain changes in the natural heat budget hua hai changes in ground water systems okay urban to industrial high level pollutions and add some more points here in terms of okay pick up whatever you want to pick up here uh, toxic discharge ho gaya you have your urban pollution dome ho gaya you can talk in the context of uh, you know changing atmospheric chemistry ho gaya okay so how the land use has changed causing some kind of imbalances the primary reasons kya hai Um, now the analysis starts. नहीं पूछा है, but maybe one paragraph. The analysis, the reasons why has this happened? Okay, so change in land use and a simplification of ecosystems. इसका primarily three reasons हैं. One is a growing population, growing population, and uh, uh, associated with this is the food requirement. a resource requirements the second reason is okay related to attitudes attitudes where man conquers nature okay attitudes related to diverting natural resources for maximization okay of human comfort the third will be the exponential development of technology okay if technology was less maybe the changes would have been lesser not too much just one paragraph the change in land cover the change in land use has been aided by or was because of growing population more food and more resources is because of a human attitudes attitudes about diverting the resources for maximization of comfort okay that environment is man's slave types and uh, finally the technology technology the technocentric approach accelerates the processes of changing natural ecosystems okay conclusion mein conclusion mein whatever you want couple of lines on the need for environmental management okay the adverse consequences of ecosystem disruptions have to be managed 
sustainable development limits to growth some of you know please add that okay it's about appreciation of the limits of the earth carrying capacity is the bring the idea of that ecosystem balance is possible only if the homeostasis is respected bring terms from ecosystems sequent occupants may the focus of study is how culture impacts okay modifications of the landscape it is not about environmental degradation what debate he discussion tha on man environment relationship so not the best discussion here one point i could have added maybe you could have a kind of because 20 marks ka paper hai maybe one paragraph on how the changing nature of the surface has impacted the heat budget okay so in terms of albedo changes in terms of water percolation uh, in terms of ocean surface ka properties wo add kar sakte hain link it with heat budget how the surface changes and that's an example of the changes in the ecological balance